Thank you, Chair, Secretary General of the ITU, His Excellency Haolin Zhao, distinguished head of delegates, delegations, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. A very good afternoon to all. I'd like to express my appreciation to the ITU for allowing Malaysia to address the sixth World Telecommunication and ICT Policy Forum today. The COVID-19 pandemic has undoubtedly upended the global economy, but at the same time has brought to the forefront the vital role of telecommunication and ICTs in cushioning the resulting economic and social impact. Even as many, remember, many member states look towards transitioning from a pandemic to an endemic phase, the after effects of this black swan event will have fundamentally changed the way we live, learn, work and play. More than ever, telecommunications and ICT services will be the leading driver in every member state's national agenda. It is in this landscape that Malaysia welcomes the sixth WTPF team and discussions on policies for mobilizing new and emerging telecommunications and ICTs for sustainable development. While Malaysia wasn't spared the effects of the pandemic, it has served as a catalyst for the acceleration of our nation's digitalization agenda. The Malaysian Digital Economy Blueprint, or My Digital, was introduced in February this year to position Malaysia as a regional leader to achieve inclusive, responsible, and sustainable socio-economic development by 2030. It is a 10-year blueprint which includes action plans that adopt a whole-of-nation approach to take Malaysia to the next stage of growth and development. As a start, the government will adopt a digital native and cloud-first strategies to accelerate digital transformation in the public sector. As early as 2022, this transformation will see up to 80% usage of cloud storage in the government. It is envisioned that cloud technology will bring about the use of big data, artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, and other emerging technologies to better manage the delivery of government and public services to our citizens. Ladies and gentlemen, for this to happen, ubiquitous and high quality digital connectivity will be required. The Jalinan Digital Negara or Jendela initiative was launched to accelerate Malaysia's digital connectivity, narrow the digital divide and provide quality and inclusive telecommunication services to our citizens. While preparing the country for 5G, Jendela is a comprehensive five-year plan with two distinct phases. In phase one from 2020 to 2022, it seeks to achieve the following to increase 4G coverage from 91.8% to 96.9% in populated areas, two, to increase mobile broadband speed from 25 megabits per second to 35 megabits per second, three, to achieve 7.5 million premises nationwide with access to gigabit speed fixed broadband, and finally to sunset 3G by end of 2021. With this, a 5G planning and implementation for commercial services faces will be starting end of 2021. Phase two, which covers period 23 and beyond, envisages the use of fixed wireless access and fit for purpose technologies to address remaining gaps in the digital divide. Madam Chair, in preparing for digital economy, Malaysia will also improve its interconnection ecosystem infrastructure and national backbone to attract the setting up of data centers, internet exchange points and international connectivity businesses to Malaysia. This policy direction will increase Malaysia's competitiveness in the region through improved international internet data connectivity, as well as investments in hyperscale data centers and internet exchange points throughout the country. Ladies and gentlemen, Malaysia takes this opportunity to renew our support for the initiatives and efforts of the ITU, and we look forward to serve the membership to foster dynamic growth towards achieving the objectives and targets outlined in the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals 2030 through the use of telecommunications and ICT services and technologies. We wish everyone a meaningful, meaningful and fruitful discussion. Thank you and stay safe.